Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. really interesting challenge today, we have 8 minus 8 times 8 minus 8, maybe this is challenge you've ever seen, this is like nothing hard, yeah we have subtraction, we have multiplication, so everyone learns this stuff in the third grade, so everyone can say yes I can easily handle this question, we got nothing hard right here, but a lot of students do this common mistake and I want to record this video. I want you to understand that right here we should know one really interesting trick. But before solving this question, you should you can easily solve this question. I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. We will check our answers here in just in just two minutes. It will be really interesting to check our answers because this is a very tricky question, and I give maybe like 90% that many goes wrong and many can't solve this question correctly. Okay, here's our question, here's the option, choose an option, what do you think? And please don't use your calculator, let's use our super brain in our head. It will be really interesting to check our answers. Okay, here's our question and let's start with this one. So we have 8 minus 8 times 8 minus 8. Okay, here's our question and one part of students solve this question like that. They, they look at it and they say, okay, 8 minus 8 equal to equal to 0. And right here we have the same expression, 8 minus 8, which is equal to 0 as well. So right here we have multiplication in the middle, so 0 times 0 equal to equal to 0. Okay, and this is option option A, yeah, right here we have option A. So one part of students think that uh, 0 is the correct answer, they solve this question wherever they want, they jump from left to right, and they think that this is a correct solution to this question. And I want you to know that in math you should understand what is the correct order to do this problem, because right here you can't solve this question wherever you want. Doesn't matter what complicated question you have, uh, don't complicate it, doesn't complicate the question you have, you should understand what is the correct order to do this problem. Then you go step by step, multiplication, parentheses, subtractions, or something like that, and you will solve this correctly. Right here, you jump from left to right, you solve this chaotically. So you, right now, I want you to understand that in mass, uh, for example, we'll have this PMDMC. This is the most popular order of operation in the world, and right now let's solve this question according to this PMDMC. Okay, let's solve this according to PMDMC, and we will check with this zero, maybe zero is a correct answer, I don't know about it, but right now let's apply a correct order of operation. Okay, let's do that, this is the main thing right here. This is a chaotic order of operation, and right now let's apply a correct order of operation. So 8 minus 8 times 8 minus 8. Okay, this PMDMC goes from the top to the bottom, everyone know about it, the first letter is P, so the first step is parentheses. Okay, let's look at it. Where do we have these parentheses? Let's look at it. Uh, I don't see any parentheses, I don't see any of those, we don't have any brackets right here, so it's really great, we just skip this part. Exponents, what about exponent? The next step is exponent after parentheses. So we don't have any exponents right here, squares, cubes right here, I don't see any exponents, so let's let's skip this part, okay? Let's, we don't have it and let's skip this part. Multiplication and division group, this is one common group in PMDMC, and now we need to scan where do we have this multiplication and division signs, let's look at it. Multiplication, division sign, yeah we have multiplication, but with a really important moment, as you can see right here we write this line um, on the bottom of this one, subtraction, and of this one, but right now multiplication is a first step right here, so we should multiply at first, so we have this multiplication step, and we don't have any division step, okay? We don't have any division and we have multiplication step, which is really important right now because we should start from this multiplication. So we have 8 minus 8 times 8 equal to 64 and minus 8 we have like uh, subtraction, yeah? And right now the last step, as you can see, this is maybe the main key rule right here. So we have addition and subtraction. We don't have any addition sign, but we have subtraction sign. And if we look closely to this PMDMC order of operation, multiplication is before subtraction. As you can see right here, multiplication is before subtraction, division is before addition, division is before subtraction, so all the time you should do all the thing with multiplication and division in your expression, and then you can easily go to addition and subtraction, which is our last step, addition and subtraction, you can easily learn that this is our last step. So 8 minus 64 minus 8 equal to minus 64, and one really important moment, this is like option C, and what is the correct answer, 0 or minus 64. Of course, as I told before, this is a correct order of operation in terms of mass and a correct answer of course is minus 64. This is very bad solution because we, we do this thing with subtraction, then we do subtraction, we jump, this is very huge mistake, then we multiply as a third step right here, which is very bad solution, this is wrong solution according to PMDMC and according to, according to, in terms of mass, okay, this is a very bad solution, because, but with parentheses, if you have parentheses, then zero is a correct answer, okay, we, we should start with this parentheses, with this one, and a correct 
correct answer is, is zero. Okay, parentheses first step, we have it and we start from this subtraction because subtraction is in parentheses when parentheses is our first step. So I hope you understand my explanation, I hope you learn something new and I hope your answer is the same as mine. I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next videos. Happy to see you here and wish you all the best. See you in the next videos.